here we go okay what we've got today this is an ash tree at the north end of our driveway and if you've been following ash you know that it has emerald ash borer it just about everywhere now and if you look up there you can see blonding the gray outer surface of the bark is gone it's, it's called this blonding and what what it means is there are emerald ash borers in there working on that tree and it's going to die <laughs> anyway the woodpeckers come along and they uh, go in there and uh, work on eating bugs and that's that's why the bark is becoming blonde they eat they knock the outer surface off So this ought to be fairly straightforward, and we're going to make the cuts, and I'm going to set wedges in it just to keep it stable, but I don't think I'll have to, I think when I cut it loose, I think it'll go. And got my lovely assistant Susan over here with another camera. She's going to take a few candid shots while we work, so we are ready to go. We'll do a, do a face cut, which is away from the camera, do a face cut taking it over there and I want to I don't want to go straight north because I've got a nice little swamp chestnut oak there we planted uh, several years ago I don't want to hurry it so we're going to aim the tree over there it's going to knock some top out of that tree that's leaning out that's an ash not a problem we're going to be cutting that tree for firewood too so not going to worry about collateral damage right now okay and I'm ready to fire up. Ready, Susan? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Oh, jeez. Forgot to hit the compression release. Okay.
that was all right. Let's walk up here and do a review on the stump. Yeah, it went right where I wanted. Anyway, looks good. We didn't hurt a little swamp chestnut oak. You just knocked some dead ends off of that ash tree there. And there's our stump. It's always good to do a after action review on your stump. See what you did right, what you did wrong. And See if I got a tape measure in my pocket. Sure do. Okay, yeah, what we got here. We got a tree here, it's about two feet in diameter. You want your hinge to be up to around 10%, up to 10%. Anyway, we're about one and three quarters there, one and three quarters there, and the hinge. It was 21 inches long that's real good you want it to be about 80 percent in length we did that and you can see where I punched through here and uh, after you punch through you dog in back here and rotate the saw to bring your th thickness on your hinge up we had the long bar on the saw so it reached through I was able to look around and see where it was then went out the back and the only Big mess calculation was I had that in when I pushed the saw through, I nipped the edge of that uh, wedge. And it looks, looks nice. So, and there's our lovely assistant Susan. Take another picture of us, Susan. There we go. Getting their picture taken. Okay. Anyway, when you're cutting trees, anything you can do for an advantage, uh, you can call it cheating if you want. I call it cheating. But we had the, uh, the back side taken off of this for safety reasons. And I knew at some point this tree was going to come down because of the emerald ash borer. So we had you know, a guy with a bucket truck get that back side off. And that gave me a little advantage. And then I looked at the weather. Yesterday we had west wind. Today they forecast the south wind because uh, the center of a high pressure system was going to move past us and the wind switched to the south. So you know, instead of doing it yesterday, I picked today. I had the wind helping me rather than pushing sideways on me. And if you can plan your work around things like that, it makes you just a little bit better, a little bit safer. And uh, we have chosen days by the wind direction more than, more than once in the past. So anyway, thank you for visiting. Uh, the saw was a 385 XP. We put a 28 inch bar on it uh, earlier this year for another big tree. And I'm glad it was still on there because it gave me a full 24 inches of reach to get through there. So, anyway, catch you later. Thank you for watching. And your comments are always welcome.